I've been building my Bitcoin mining farm for years and I'm even looking at solar to offset my electricity costs. But now Bitcoin's finally pumped. And there's about $50 million that goes out to Bitcoin miners every single day. So am I just absolutely rolling in coin here? Or is it maybe not as lucrative as you may think? Because Bitcoin mining competition continues to increase. Hey, I'm Drew Bosk. You're on the Bosk One YouTube channel, and we're going to run through my Bitcoin mining profitability numbers, uh, if it's worth it, and where am I going from here? At the time of recording this, Bitcoin is worth about $96,000 per coin. It's still crazy to see. $47 million in emission in the last 24 hours. That means that Bitcoin miners basically earned $47 million. That's the amount of coins mined and also fees. Transaction fees on the blockchain uh, for Bitcoin goes back to the miners. Speaking of mining, I may be building my own mining farm, but if you don't feel like doing that, check out Revolution Mining where you can buy miners with them and they will run them for you. Link out in the video description below. And thanks to them for making today's video possible. Uh, in the last seven days, difficulty's gone up 1.6%. Bitcoin difficulty charts, hard to type. Uh, check this out, All right. Bitcoin mining continues to get more and more difficult. It's obvious, you would assume that, you know that, but what does it look like over the last year? Uh, it's, it's got a good bit more difficult, basically going from 67 to now a difficulty of 104. If we go back three years, it's all the way down to 22. Uh, so it's very safe to assume that it will continue to get more and more difficult. The Bitcoin having occurred in 2024, and it barely made a dent in the Bitcoin mining difficulty, but it did make a huge dent in Bitcoin mining profitability. One thing in particular that's pretty interesting to see, and uh, disclosure, I, I own Mara, uh, among many other Bitcoin crypto stocks. Uh, they've adopted the micro strategy play, and, and they're basically just buying Bitcoin. And their stock is doing great because of that. And if we go out further, it wasn't doing all that well, but since they've changed up strategies, uh, they have rebounded significantly. Uh, so I'm not pushing marathon, right? Uh, I'm just saying this is a publicly traded Bitcoin mining farm that is, instead of expanding the mining farm and other things, they're just literally buying Bitcoin right now and it's going great for them and their holders. The game's changing and it's just kind of weird, but that's a little bit of an overview scenario. So I've got a bunch of Bitcoin miners, at least from my point of view. Uh, and on this one mining pool in particular, I have 26 that are online. On that mining pool, I have basically five latest generation uh, miners. One is downclocked a little bit because I've been having a lot of problems with that S21 and it's been warranted already. Uh, the bottom line is though, basically five current generation and then uh, 21 previous generation. That equates to about three P to hash of mining power. And it's really 2.9 right now. Uh, it would be over three if my two miners that were down on uh, my DCX Bitpod were online, but uh, that's gone down again. So looking at my reward here, I'm basically mining 0.19 to 0.18 uh, BTC. Realistically, I think we can look at, I'd say I'm probably getting about 0.00182, maybe a slight round up there, Bitcoin per day uh, in mining rewards. Dollar eyes, that's about $175 right there uh, in Bitcoin mining. So if we look at uh, 175 divided by 26 miners, I'm earning about $6.73 per Bitcoin miner. And a lot of these machines probably cost me around five bucks a day to run. Uh, some cost me more like six, almost $7 a day to run. Uh, so really best case scenario, you could probably say I'm earning about $2 per machine. So my revenue may be 175 a day, but my profits are more like 50 bucks a day. And when you understand what it takes to run 26 miners, it, that's not that awesome. I always feel better when I break the numbers out over a longer time period, right? So over the next year, that would be plus 20 grand. I mean, that's pretty cool. Uh, that's kind of exciting. And hopefully Bitcoin doubles in that time, right? then maybe it'd be like 40 grand. 
I mean, that's what happened over the last year. And then so when I mined and held all of my Bitcoin. Uh, so some things to kind of think about and consider, but remember things don't always just go up forever. Uh, everything is a cycle, more or less. Uh, but that's the reality, right, of Bitcoin mining, my situation, what I'm earning, and I'm just kind of sitting here, what do I do, where do I go from here? I have my other video, I recently posted talking about solar for the house, looking at solar for commercial deployment too, looking at pulling in three phase, uh, but the costs to do that have recently skyrocketed uh, for me, unfortunately, which I talked about another video, so I won't drone on and on about that in today's video. Uh, but I sit here, I look at my numbers. I'm happy, I'm not thrilled. Uh, Bitcoin mining has been doing very well uh, right, to date for me, um, only because my Bitcoin that I've mined and held has, that has done well. Uh, if Bitcoin hadn't gone up so much, I wouldn't be singing that same tune. But when I zoom in on a day-to-day -day performance, it's not exciting, right? So I have 26 Bitcoin miners and you could buy one Antminer L9 that mines Dogecoin right now. And you would basically profit the same amount of money per day after the electricity bill. So like you could have one L9 or you can have my 26 Bitcoin miners and they are putting the same amount of coin into my pocket after electricity is accounted for every single day. And that's kind of wild. Uh, so the L9 has gone up a lot more in price recently. This is largely due to the Dogecoin pump, right? Who knows what the future holds? It's not as rock solid as say Bitcoin. I'm not saying that, oh, Doge is the way and Bitcoin sucks. It's just, it's very sobering in a way, right? Uh, this is all ASIC mining. These are application specific integrated circuit miners. These are purpose-built computers, custom machines. These devices mine one mining algorithm normally, right? So my Bitcoin miners mine Bitcoin and they have whatever efficiency of watts consumed per terahash of mining power, right? And then you look at a Doge miner that mines the script mining algorithm and it has its own efficiency rating for that. Uh, so I just kind of sit here and I wonder, what do I do? Where do I go from here? Uh, my electricity on my current services are basically maxed out. I'm exploring if I can pull in another service. Uh, I just kind of need to figure out what to do. I, it's, I'm not just trying to make a move to make a move. All right. Uh, that's not good gameplay necessarily. I'm not bored. I always have stuff to do. My to-do list is never ending. But... In my opinion, we are entering uh, the bull run, right? We are in the bull run, really. Uh, and it's kind of like last call to maybe expand my mining farm, maybe buy gear, maybe just have expansion ready for any new opportunities that come up in this cycle. I don't wanna get FOMO and I don't wanna be chasing. The time to build really was over the last year when we were making videos almost every single day and everyone out there winning subscribed and watched those videos. Yeah, it's a shameless plug. If you don't believe in yourself, who the hell is going to believe in you? But seriously, I'm, I'm spending so much time right now evaluating, do we expand the crypto positions? Do we expand the stock positions? Do we expand the mining farm? Do I just completely pivot here and start seriously investing time and money into solar power? Should I be pursuing solar to power my miners? Should I just look for a power purchase agreement with my solar? Uh, I don't think that electricity is gonna get cheaper anytime soon. And maybe the new administration will explore some alternatives that the previous administration wasn't. They've kind of said that, but a lot of politicians say a lot of things that never really happen. Uh, so, I don't know, that, that's kind of where I'm at, that's where my head's at. I'm happy to be mining Bitcoin, looking forward, I'll, I'll keep running these Bitcoin miners, I'm definitely not turning these things off when Bitcoin's anything, anywhere around $100,000 per Bitcoin. Do I think that my S19 generation miners will be viable in 2026? Probably not. I think that I'll just have to phase them out or offset them with solar at that point. I think S21s and beyond, you know, current generation miners. I, I recently reviewed the new Avalon miner. Um, all that stuff uh, will be good to go. I mean, it's the latest generation. Uh, they're continuing to still make better and more efficient miners there. The huge leap in efficiency has been a bit surprising. It shows that these manufacturers are always ready to drop a new miner model on you, which makes it very difficult. 
uh, to just bankroll a miner for years. Uh, it's just the way the game goes, I guess. Uh, that's a whole thing. We'll leave that at that. So anyway, hey, I'm Bosker on the Bosker One YouTube channel. This is a real life uh, just glance into what is this really like? You know, what do I earn? What is this costing? Right? What machines am I running? How is this all possible? Is this worth it? Am I expanding? Am I not? Why? Those are everything that I've been trying to touch on here today. Uh, specifically, if you're very curious about the models, I've shown them and talked about them before, but you can see my miners here on my mining pool screen. And you'll notice that their hash rate is much lower than their model number. All of my miners are on efficient settings, right? A lot of these are like 30 watts per terahash. And by down clocking them, I get them between, you know, 20 and 25 watts per terahash, uh, which significantly increases their viability long term and has also allowed me to increase my density, uh, right? By taking about a thousand watts off of each of these S19s, right? I take that off of uh, two of them. And now I can deploy another one for about 2000 watts. Obviously, there's different ways to go about this, but uh, life is just a game and I treat it like a strategy game born straight out of Warcraft 3 and Starcraft. So here we are. I'm just trying to spawn more overlords. I'll see you on the next one. This is our CSO or Chief Strategy Officer here on the Bosscoin YouTube channel. Yep, that's Cutie Tales.